OMG, y'all. You see all those people at this gas station? I don't know if you can see that man right there, but he has the blood that I'm talking to you. I could smell it a mile away, and I found him. But I don't feed on people. But it's very tempting because this is like intoxicating. It's like a drug to vampires, this type of blood he has. Oh, Lord, help me. Well, not Lord, but yeah, Lord. I don't know if I can handle it. He's still there. I still smell it. And I got to, I've got to restrain myself. I cannot do that. I will not. OMG, there's another one and another one. Why do they have the smell? Why did I just run across three people? It's very rare that that happens. But I've got to get out of here. I've got to do vampire mode right now. Okay, again, I thought, what is going on today? I've never had this much, these many people with this type of blood smell. There's at least three inside that pool with it. Somebody's messing with me today. But like I said, it's intoxicating to a vampire. Vampire mode again, I've got to get home. My things are starting to come out. Okay, I made it home. Sorry my face is so red, but that's what happens when you get, when I get infiltrated with that much blood that's intoxicating to a vampire. So I went full vampire mode again, I'm here. I really believe someone was messing with me. I've never had that much encounter with that type of blood before. It was overwhelming. Jenny Vampire. Get ready to meet my mom. Mother! Cut my life into pieces! This is my last resort! Suffocation! No breathing! Don't give a damn with my army, please! Well, I really appreciate it. Um, should I cover my half or? No, I got you. Are you sure? Oh, thank you so much. It was delicious. But I'm going to probably head up because it's late oh. and I have to get up early in the morning. So. Oh, well, can I walk you to your room? Um, I don't know if they allow if you're not staying in the room. It'd just be easier for you. But I, I appreciate dinner oh, and I. I get it. No, 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 it's not like that. No, it seriously isn't. No, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't fuck. Man pays for dinner. I don't fuck on the first date, and I feel like you've been kind of like, you've been acting like it this entire time. Like, all right, you just want a free free meal. No, no, first off, I have no problem paying for my own bill to avoid something like this. Go for it, do it. Are you serious right now? Just do it. You're a fucking asshole. Like, I have no problem. You too. Think of the glizzies. <laughs> One hundred glizzies and drink glizzy overdrive. <laughs> Increasing grip by seven <laughs> percent. We are locked in. Thank you for over one hundred and sixty glizzies and drink glizzy overdrive. <laughs> Think of that ice cream. Ice cream, so good. The reason that we love buying dairy from the Amish is that they don't pasteurize their dairy. It's actually illegal to sell unpasteurized or raw milk in stores, so buying from farms is the only way to get it. Pasteurization is a process where the milk is heated to really high levels to kill off any harmful bacteria. While this is important for keeping the milk safe, it also kills off the enzymes and probiotics in the dairy that actually makes it digestible for humans. Pasteurization is one of the main reasons why so many people are lactose intolerant. As long as you're buying from a trusted source, the risk of contamination is low. Factory farming is where contamination tends to be high, but on a wholesome Amish farm where cows are grass fed and treated with love, the contamination risk is quite low. I'm so grateful that these farms exist because I could never consume dairy from grocery stores and now I can have all that I want. This is raw heavy cream. The taste of this stuff is incomparable to the stuff that you buy at the grocery store. It's super sweet and it's really, really thick. 
So good. As always, we have a ton of cheese. We got six pounds this week. We also got six pounds of butter. These are yogurt, really great for probiotics. Kefir, another probiotic drink. Kefir, kefir. Lots of heavy cream. And that's this week's Amish. Leave her alone, buddy. Or else. Is why you don't bully. Yeah. Have a I'm on lunch break. Your lunch break ended two minutes ago. Can I wow, right here? two minutes. I came in here two minutes late. Right, I really well. don't want you to sit here, but since you sit down, go ahead. Okay. Well, I just—it's a quick conversation, something informal. I don't need anything, you know, crazy out of here. So I just wanted to, to let you know. How do you clock in? Do you clock in Is on it? your computer, on your phone, or do you clock in when you get to the station in the morning? What the policy say on the computer, so what's the problem? Okay, so I'm asking you, where do you clock in? If the policy say computer, I'm going to tell you computer. You're going to tell me computer, or are you going to tell me where you actually clock in? Because the computer. last, let me pull it up on this thing. So the last 10 clock-ins show that you're clocking on your phone. How many? 10. Okay. So the last 10 clock-ins, the punch-ins, they've been showing that they've been through the phone app. I probably was in the parking lot. Okay, well, I knew you were going to say something like that, so I went ahead and I pulled up the cameras for the past 10 shifts. Um, and I'm going to you, not, if you're watching me on the camera here. for no reason, that's a problem. That's not for no reason. That's harassment at first, job. Whenever you first at applied here, and if let me let me just reiterate your memory, when you first had this interview oh, here, my dog on one of the, uh, your lunch was done two minutes ago. Whenever we sat down on that interview, do you recall, we mentioned you are going to be working under close surveillance, and if that's something that you were uncomfortable with, this is not the job for you. I've been working for y'all five years. Do you think I remember anything that I told y'all? Okay. Well, that's, we got, I'm not violating anything by doing that. I was just making sure that this is all up to date and clearly So where was not, I when I clocked in? Where you seen me at? I'm not sure, but I don't feel like pulling your ADL location either. So I'm just, I, again, I am not trying to make this a big deal, Brown. I'm not trying to make this so a big deal. So what you want me to do? Go on and tell I'm me so I can do it. I'm just trying to bring this to your attention. I need you to stop clocking in on your phone when you're not physically at the station at 553. Okay. You need to be physically at the station, pulling in. Sure, you can clock in on your phone if that's what you have to do to, to get your clock in on time. But if I pull that surveillance, you need to be in that parking lot. So let me ask you this. In. When y'all wake me up, I'm my bed. And I get up, I start washing, cleaning my face, putting on my clothes. I don't, I'm working in. So no, I clock, not, I be that's clocking not, in. That's not part of this contract. 553, you need to be at the station in the back, clock in. If it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't asking, be getting Brown. up. So soon as I wake up, I clock in. That's all I'm asking. Like I said, I'm okay. going to make this a big deal, Brown. Okay. This would I got be a you. lot bigger of a deal. But again, I try to look out for my employees and I am trying I, to I'm, come to you okay. before I bring this to anybody. Next time. Here. We could squash it now. I'm just it's squashed. It's squashed. It's squashed. Okay, go on so I can finish eating. You, your lunch break is over, but you can finish whatever you're doing. Thank right? you. No problem. Thank you. We don't do interviews, otherwise I would. What are you doing? I am trying to take some video and pictures, and people keep asking me what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to take pictures and video. Of what? Oh, okay. um, I don't have the, the sun's not going to be up long enough for me to explain everything to you. Then why would we? Why, why are you doing it? What is it? What, what, I, what's the real question? What do you really want to know? What are you doing? Okay. Taking pictures and video. Because that's what I feel like doing today. Okay. Why are you shopping at the loft? Because I love to shop there. Well, there you go. Carry on with that. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you get sued. You hope I get sued? I do. Sued for what? For badgering. Okay. Okay. 
You're really gonna get my face, bro? Are you my face, bro? I'm, I haven't moved my feet. I I'm haven't. Not, I'm, I'm not moving like my you're feet. Harassing. Uh, you feel like I'm harassing? Do you yeah. see this? Yeah, I I'm do. seeing it. I do. I think you're being foolish. Why don't you get out of my face? You just walked up to me and put yourself I'm, in my I, face. Hey, if you can video, I can stand I mean, where I want to stand. Not in my face. I'm not in your face. You're not in my face. I'm not. Really? Yeah. No. You don't I'm think not. you're in my face? No, I'm you not. You don't think your camera being six inches from my face is Yours in my is face. as close to mine. Listen, I'm out on the sidewalk taking some pictures. I'm too. Go on with your day. You go on with go your on day. Go on with your day. You go on with your day. We need the police. They want to tell us what they're doing. Watch, I'm going to back up. You're going to back. You're going to walk towards me again? Here, let's let's try it. Let's have a little experiment. Let's see what a puppet you are. People's call the police. Call the police. Just say call the property manager. Please, please, put me out on social media. Man, you can call whoever you want. I'm going to your asses oh, yeah. so bad. Is, what are you so angry about? It's not a public... What because is it? She You're following me up and down you. the sidewalk, and I would suggest and you, you cut it out. You keep moving. I keep moving away from this How do I know that you're, that's you're, that's you're not videoing and coming, and coming up on my face or my kids' faces? You walked out of the door. You're right, I did. And then all of a sudden, I said, ask me, interview me. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Carry on. Off you go. Toodaloo. Carry on. You're making the ladies in this store uncomfortable. You're making me okay. uncomfortable. I don't really care. I don't really care either. Also, the police on your phone. I don't want to call the police. I'll be happy to. Go ahead. Knock fact, yourself out. Have. Call the police. We have. Good. You're going to wait for them and get an education today? I will. Good. Excellent. I'll wait here too then if that's the case. Sounds like a perfect plan. I think you're. I think you're foolish. Afternoon. I think you're both foolish. How's I that? I really don't care what you think. Oh, obviously you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be standing here. No, I'd like to know why you're making the ladies in this store uncomfortable. Ma'am, I am on a public sidewalk taking pictures and video. People have been doing it for a hundred years, and they'll be doing it for another hundred years. You're going to put a stop to everybody. That's you ever, not my you ever watch any video from 25, 50, 100 years ago on TV just because it's amazing? All the time. Good. So people 100 years from now will watch my video. Love but you you haven't asked Thank you, for man. my I appreciate permission. It. I don't need your permission. Yes, you do. I absolutely do. That's why I said I'm glad you're going to stick around for the education. I don't need your permission. You're so wrong. No, I'm not wrong. Yes, you are. No, I'm really not. I've been a professional photographer for 35 years. Not wrong. But it's okay. Part of what I do is hoping people get educated. So you'll get an education today. Police are going to show up. They're going to tell you to leave me alone and go about your day if you don't want to be on camera, and that'll be the end of it. So do you have a contract with the City Hall and with this mall area? At this, to point, be at this point, that's none of your business. If you would have approached you me don't. with respect, I would have given you respect. You don't. You get what you give in this world. That's right, you yeah, do. You do. But putting people on the spot the way you I'm have. I'm not putting anybody these anywhere. Ladies, Everybody's where they are that because that's where they want to be. This dress store, women coming into this dress store complaining about the two. Oh, it's filming. about women now. So if I'm I was a woman filming, what would you say? I'm not going to argue with you. All right, so have a nice day. I'm but I'm just going to tell you that when you're making people uncomfortable. And the store manager is saying that she's uncomfortable. Listen, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Try, I'm, trying to I'm trying to Why walk away from you me? and be out of this conversation. I'm Just not even keep interested. On walking. Keep on going. I'll go whichever way I want to go. What do you mean? You're free to leave as well. You're right. I am. But you know, now I want to be entertained, and I'm going to wait for the police. So you're a sick-minded individual. No. Your entertainment comes from other people's suffering and misery. That's fascinating. Really? That yeah. Is I guess so. Well, you want to see me? You want to see me get arrested by the police, and that'll be your entertainment. You just said that yourself, right? Foolish. You're a fool. Thank you, sir. How are we doing, sir? Good. How are you, man? All right. These gentlemen have been filming people coming into the store without their permission. Uh, they're on a public sidewalk, sir. Yeah. And out of the store got, and making the ladies at work there feel uncomfortable. To the store asking why they're it's being not against the law. It's, there. it's, it's not against the law to be rude to ladies. No. Of do they have a not. contract here? They don't need one. It's a public place. Okay. No, they do need one. No, ma'am. Have you looked at the laws on. Oh, uh, so she's not going to contracts? believe the police either. There you go. I mean, well. you're so damn smart.
We learned something today? Yeah, you don't want to admit. Yeah, darling. yeah, let's go, darling. I got educated. I'm a fool and so are you. Bye bye. Bye bye, darling. I can't admit when I'm wrong, darling. This is harassment. Yeah, you're harassment. Try to learn something. Expand your horizons. You're not too old. Every day is an opportunity. Seize the day. And when you see somebody out taking pictures, thank them next time. Alright class, get off me chat, get off your phones, cause we're about to do some ice breakers! Boo! Get someone else to do it! Excuse me? I would much rather play me chat and get to know all the amazing teachers and fellow students on there in this class. Um, are you even in this class? Not unless you let me play me chat. See ya. Woo! He <laughs> the tire shop this whole time. Oh yes, wow. yeah, so that reminds me actually because we, last year when we were traveling out east, we got a flat on the freeway and obviously it heard a, there was a big bang sound and so we were freaking out like, what was that? And so we pulled over the car. We, I was trying to buy my AAA card because it it would have been in the glove compartment, but I didn't know if it was still there. Um, found ourselves kind of stranded there, and, and um, so we try, trying to find a restaurant to eat in, um, but they didn't take credit card, and so I ended up asking the guy to help us out because I didn't really know. They didn't, they didn't take any, any credit card, and so it's just all cash. Um, and so I was looking in my, because in my glove compartment, I usually kept cash, but I didn't have any cash, and so um, then we found it hotel um, and it was, it was a small motel kind of a thing and, and we got us a room. The blacks were slaves. Did they ever go to Washington DC and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery? Did they? No. What did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's ha let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways. And God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? They didn't protest. Maybe there's a place for protest. I don't know. But there's sometimes it's that was a wise pastor that warned his flock. Yo. Oh, you good, bro? It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. That's in the video. But we're going to edit that. You all right? Twice when I tried to be better, everything changed. I love cone. I can't imagine being a fully grown woman that pays taxes and infantilizing myself for TikTok, making, animating myself to look like a child and sound like a child and act like a child while also trying to look sexy. There's something very wrong with you. I, this is possibly my least favorite thing to come out of TikTok. It started with that Bella girl that was in the military and then also did this. Like, why are you trying to, like, look sexy to a voiceover of a child while also acting like a child? Who do you think that's pandering towards? Who do you think is going to like that content? You fucking weirdo. It's just, like, disturbing and people are like, oh, she's just trying to make a cute video. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's doing something. And you know it's the shitty ass eyebrows for me dude your boyfriend died in a car accident dude like why the fuck would you say that like because you keep on picking on me like i'm over okay it. but it's not good to mention him like he fucking died do you understand that that's not a joke Alyssa. so he probably did it just to get away from you i swear like that's how fucking annoying you're getting stephanie like you are fucking getting on my nerves you know what our friendship is so fucking toxic okay well i don't want to be your friend any fucking way
You're with Moms for Liberty, so you're telling me there's a new threat besides gender ideology, besides critical race theory. What's this third one? So social emotional learning is basically the Trojan horse that allows critical race theory, that allows the critical queer theory, teaching our kids how to feel, teaching them about their feelings. Rather than parents paying for a therapist for their children, they let the teachers do it at school. They talk about their feelings? They talk about their feelings all the time, or they'll say, it, it's called formative conversations, and they'll say, so how can we show empathy? Let's say that we have... So teaching, so empathy? Okay, so it's the word, let's say they have a word of the week. And the word of the week at my child's school was empathy. And the, word, and the, the teacher started talking, how can we show empathy? And then she says, if you have a friend that has two moms, how can you have empathy? Well, my child comes home and says, mom, there can be two moms. You know, and then these conversations... Hi y'all, um, my name is Jay, and uh, this is kind of my situation right here. Um, I am not a special ed education teacher. I am a paraprofessional. I do not have a bachelor's degree, no certifications, no accreditations whatsoever to be teaching a class full of specially educated kids. And this is the second day they've had me do this. They knew that the teacher was not gonna be here today. She called ahead and told them, I'm not gonna be here. They still didn't get up because they know that they could rely on us. These kids are nonverbal. They can't tell their parents that they don't have a teacher. And so they get away with it. If this school receives federal funding, these kids need to have a special education teacher here. It's a human rights violation. Y'all need to look into TUSD because this is happening everywhere. Every class, every school that I've been contracted to go to, the teacher is always ready to quit. There's no support. No IEPs are being met. This is a human rights violation and no one's talking about it because these kids can't advocate for themselves. What's up, TikTok? So this happened. This is a message for our United States military, the Air Force, the Army, the Marines, the Navy, Coast Guard, SpaceX. SpaceX? You mean the program that was made by the guy who makes Teslas? Space Force, my guy. Moving right along. Everybody that considers himself a, a person that would defend this fucking country, where are you? I'm at work, defending this fucking country. We thought the military took an oath to protect this country. They took an oath to protect our Constitution. That includes enemies, foreign and domestic. We did take that oath to protect and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You know, domestic. Like a woman who decided to drive her vehicle through a National Guard vaccination tent. But keep that same energy. Where are you, military? Because if you're leaving it up to the American people, you need to let us know because everybody's on the edge of their seat. You've got millions and millions of gun owners that are ready to walk out and just start a complete fucking bloodbath. And we're beginning to wonder where our fucking military. I mean, I'm no expert, but that sounded like a terroristic threat because not you talking about a bunch of gun owners going out and starting a bloodbath. Like, have you never heard of the Insurrection Act? There's reasons why the military doesn't deploy within the U.S. And if they did, your little good old boy system is not going to fare well for you. Understand that if active duty military actually get deployed within the United States, that weapon is not just pointed at other people, other countries. It's pointed at you. If you do not get in your house when I tell you to, you become the enemy. Martial law. You know, where your rights get curtailed. You don't have all those same freedoms that the Constitution guarantees at that point. So be careful what you wish for and stop opining about things you don't understand. Well, I'm just going to read you the, the language in your bill. No classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties relating to sexual orientation or gender identity shall occur 
Uh, lady, you mentioned George Washington. Who is Martha Washington? His wife. Under your bill, how could you mention that in a classroom? So to me, that's not sexual orientation. Really? So it's only really certain sexual orientations that you want prohibited Pat, from introduction you, in the classroom. Do you have language to make that better, to make it where you're not talking? Lady, I didn't introduce your bill. Okay. Uh, and I, I didn't write it. You wrote it. And so I'm asking what it means. Which sexual orientations do you believe should be prohibited from Missouri classrooms? We all have a moral compass. And my moral compass is compared with the Bible. Lady, I believe I during believe your testimony, you said that you didn't want teachers' personal beliefs entering the classroom, but it seemed a lot like your personal belief you would like to enter all Missouri classrooms. You can, you can believe something without, in, without, in, without putting that onto somebody by the way you behave. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. I, I don't dispute that, but I'm asking about the language of your bill and how it would permit the mention of the historical figure Martha Washington. Could you explain that to me? So, what does she? What? Why is she famous? Is she famous because she's married with, to George Washington? It seems like that would be a relevant fact in her biography. Yes. Could it be mentioned under the plain reading language of your bill? Is that a no? I, I, I don't know, sir. Okay. <laughs>